Coach Thomas, uh, there was there was some fur flying today at Pursuit. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the trials here, and how many guys did you have wrestling? Um, wrestling, we had a bunch that qualified. You know, if you're top eight, uh, you can come and wrestle. Uh, at this time of the year, you do have a lot of kids doing other sports, um, so you're not seeing that full showing of the one through eight. I think we had six guys competing today. Um, again, some of them, the year-round guys, the, the people that stay on the mat once, twice a week, um, and, you know, some of them really dedicated three, four times a week. Uh, those are the kids that probably sh shined a little bit uh, brighter today. So there's something to be said about that. Coming here in August, this you know, mid-August, this isn't easy, man. Like no. you're saying, there's other people that are doing other things, but there's some people that aren't in, you know, maybe mid-season mid form, let's say. How hard is that, and how much do you commend your six guys for showing up? Uh, that's awesome. So at the end of the day, they're leaving here better. Um, you get into some positions that are just you know, simple fixes. It's like one spot, stupid mistake. you got some rust. You make that one adjustment, and it's a whole different match. Um, so again, that can be a little bit frustrating. Um, but again, it's an eye-opener. I, I really we try to tell all of our people just the difference that it'll make once a week once every other week come on the mat don't let that rust accumulate um, and then you know you're not spending the first month of your season trying to get back to where where you were when you left off i think it's huge it's a really really big bonus for the people that stay at least to some capacity on the mat year round this facility is pretty incredible right i'm doing i'm doing a 360 as i'm talking to you with, yep. with my other camera right you have the capability of four full mats right now you got three down but you yep. can do four yep. um, do you ever do four um, so we've got another strip coming, so we'll be like three and a half, all things considered, for this season. Um, you know, the, the piece that's really important to us as we do this is you've got to have that, the touches of each group in practice. And so we've been really diligent. And, you know, you've got three full mats, three and a half for this season. We're going to have 60, sometimes maybe 70 youth kids out on the mat in a practice. How do you manage that? you got to have the coaches. Um, we've got four full-time guys here. Full-time? Yeah. Full they don't do anything else for a living. Yeah. That's what you guys are all doing. Got four, yeah. That's hard to do. Yeah. Um, it's our pursuit. <laughs> it's where we came up with the name. So we love this stuff. Uh, and then we've got a myriad of uh, assistant coaches that are in uh, as well. Former Division One guys, Division Two guys, Division Three guys, um, guys from all walks of life. Uh, we'll have... You know, five, six, seven coaches walking the mat in our practices, especially in that advanced group. How, who are all the coaches? I know it's you and Breck and me, but who are the other ones besides you two? Yeah, so you've got Sam Shalvey, um, myself, we've got Brack and Mead, uh, Dean Schuler, uh, we've got uh, Devin King, we've got Anthony Michael, um, we've got Foyne Fabello, um, we have got, uh, let's see here. Those are really like the core guys that we're seeing a ton of right now, but then you've got a lot of sort of dad coaches. Um, wrestling is like a little bit of a lineage thing, uh, especially here in Central Ohio. That's why Cleveland's had the leg up, and I think Columbus is starting to see a little bit more parity um, in the Cleveland side because you have the dads that wrestled. And so if you look across our club anymore, you'll have a dad who is a state champ. Dean. Um, Dean was a state champ. So Dean, for example. Uh -huh. Russell at Central um, Michigan. Russell at Central Michigan, so a Division One guy. Um, we've also got, uh, we've got little Harper um, at this club. Her dad's kind of this out. He was a state champ over at Marysville. Um, so he's on the mat with us. Um, and yeah, just, just kind of fortunate in that. Um, in the off season, something we do too here is, uh, if you're a college wrestler, uh, practices are free. So you come in, wrestle with our guys, coach a little bit, get your own workouts in uh, amongst yourselves, and that helps us keep in a bunch of really qualified guys on the mat and just kind of give it back a little bit as well. If you lost your minds, you could put all the weight stuff over in this corner right here, yeah. and you could do six mats. Yeah, you could. You could uh, do six mats. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know how you'd be able to control the product quality going six mats. Because you want to talk about the staffing, I mean, I've per 10 to 15 kids that I have enrolled, I've got a coach out on the map. And it's really important for me to keep it running that way. Um, because as you scale, I think traditionally you see a lot of clubs have a lot of success, you know, 20, 30 really tough kids, and you got to find your assistant. You get to 40 kids, it's two guys running it. And then once you hit sort of that 50 benchmark and you start to move on from there, you lose a little bit of that personal touch. Um, I'm really, really committed out of here as we grow. and. Um, to keeping that coach to kid on the mat ratio high. It's super, super important for the development.
could we see another location open? Uh, well, we've got one in Minnesota right now. Um, and so I'm, I'm saying Minnesota. Central Ohio. Uh, I don't know if you'd see one around the outer belt. Um, South? We're north, right? We're north, we're in Lewis yeah, Center. Yeah, I mean, maybe we could. Uh, I wouldn't say rule it out. Um, if the demand was there and uh, we found the right guys to run it, I wouldn't say never. Um, we could do we could do a South Columbus location. I like it. Um, That's why I asked. Yeah. Right I'm now, curious. Right now, it's it's a lot to run a club like this. And as, as awesome as the facility is, we're super fortunate with the staff that we've got and uh, that's the hard part to copy paste if you will so you got to have the right people and you got to be doing it for the right reasons um, here we've got that it's why we've had such a quick success running this place again the mats the weight equipment all that stuff cool if you don't have the right people running it, no one's gonna come. You know, at the end of the day, people come here to get their kids really good at wrestling, but also to become life champions. Um, we're, uh, we see it as kind of a, a duty to uh, toughen up these kids, these guys and the gals, get them ready for life, not just wrestling, but you know. Where are you originally from? Bracken's from here. Where are I'm, you from? I'm from Columbus as well. So Where? I went to Old Tangier Liberty. You went to Liberty? Yeah, I'm one of Marinelli's guys. Oh, uh, Marinelli guy. Yep. The old silent assassin, Mark Marinelli. Yep, the Don. He doesn't say much. The Don. He's a wizard. Quiet guy, man. He's a wizard. He doesn't have to. He's uh, he's one of a kind. And, you know, on the note of creating a life champion, that's where I pull that from. Um, Coach Marinelli has had, I don't know, how many state champs, how many state placers, how many awesome programs. Uh, but the individual that he turns out and the way that he runs the program is something that, it's something to take notes on, honestly. Um, his guys, they get done with wrestling, whether they wrestle in college or not. Uh, they're prepared for the world, um, and they're good people. And at the end of the day, you know, not everyone's going to win a state title. Can you apply what you learned in wrestling to life? It's a gap uh, that I think that that's out there. You know, particularly I wrestled at OSU too um, for Tom Ryan for four years, and uh, you know, you see some guys wrestling will end and uh, it's like deer in the headlights you know when you can't grab someone throw them on the ground put them in an arm bar and pin them um, you, you just got to be a little bit more rounded uh, and you know I saw that and I still see that so it's again it's an important thing out of this place uh, pursuit needs to just be more than creating a bunch of hammers that's gonna happen um, you're gonna win matches when you come in here and you work hard you listen to your coaches. Uh, what is more important to us, and that's just more important on the big picture, is you want good people. Um, the winning's a byproduct of that. I love it. Everyone will say that, too. You get me fired up. Yeah, ask everyone involved here. I mean, Pursuit, you talk about additional locations and stuff. We um, we licensed out, and we've got an awesome location up and running in Minnesota, Riley Molitor. He was a South Dakota State guy out there. Uh, started, opened his facility uh, January. Um, he's got a 10,000 square foot facility. I'll be up there at the end of September to help him finish polishing, shut up, uh, polishing that up. It'll kind of look and mimic like this. Um, he's crushing it up there though. Again, you talk about finding the right people, totally the right guy to have one of these. Um, and it's gonna be, you know, you're gonna have two of these. And the end goal is to build a network. Um, again, we wanna create a network of, of good wrestlers, but good people. I think we can do this multi-location within states, but you know, within the wrestling belt here, there's no reason why there can't be a pursuit in every dominant wrestling state. There should be. Uh, and beyond just, again, like this club, it's it's a calling that everyone that's involved in this feels to sort of impact the sport um, and create as many good people, good valued people, pumping them into society. I think that's something we could use right now. Um, nice, hard, just solid individuals, good work ethic, do things for the right reasons, know how to win, know how to lose, um, and yeah, that's what we're doing here.